Good day. Welcome to the Wine Spring. This is a Wheel of Time reread podcast. We'll be going through all the books. It's going to take a while, y'all. Stay with me. Uh, it's just going to be coming out weekly. Uh, hopefully, we can push it to bi weekly. Uh, and also, I know this is audio only for these first few episodes, uh, but we should have video going soon. Uh, just kind of making it, uh, getting the space set up, uh, making sure it looks good, making sure uh, everything's ready before it's, uh, make sure it's video ready, basically. So just give me a, a little bit and we'll have that going and then uh, we'll have the map up, make it a little easier to follow the story as we go, things like that. So it's going to get better, it's going to get uh, a little more broad and uh you know join me on the ride it'll be fun uh a couple th- uh, let's see the prologue today's episode is probably gonna be a little shorter uh the prologue's pretty short uh and i'm not gonna deep dive on the two characters not in this episode uh, i'm gonna save that for the next episode uh so when you when i when i don't do it don't you know just don't be surprised that i'm not doing it because uh the next episode i'm doing a kind of a deeper dive into the events between the prologue and chapter one, uh, just to give some history, some background, talk about some of the cool things from the uh, Age of Legends, um, get into some of that stuff, uh, some of the cooler things, and then we'll get into uh, into the actual meat of the book, chapter one. So without further ado, though, oh, and just, I mean, as a heads up, it's a reread, so it should have been kind of apparent, but there will be spoilers. So... Uh, if you haven't read the series, if you haven't read the, at least the first book, um, you know, hit pause because I want you to come back. But go read the book, uh, enjoy it because it's it's. I'm telling you right now, once you pick it up, you're probably gonna have a hard time putting it down. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into the prologue and what goes on in that. So we get into it. We got the uh, Wheel of Time logo, uh, followed by the title Dragon Mount. Uh, we open up on Luce Darren's palace, uh, shaken from after effects or aftershocks from earthquakes, and uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty destroyed. I mean, it's got scorch marks everywhere. Uh, there's smears of blistering paints, and I mean, it's just uh, imagine like a shelled out shot on CNN from like Iran, and you could see buildings kind of in that nature, and. Um, there's a description in here in the in the first paragraph that's it's 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 the one that kind of got me because I, I was like oh this is oh we're gonna go deep in this book and we're not pulling punches you know uh here let me read it real quick just to and i quote the dead lay everywhere men and women and children struck down in attempted flight by the lightnings that had flashed down every corridor or seized by the fires that had stalked them or sunken in the stone of the palace, the stones that had flowed and sought, almost alive, before stillness came again. And that right there, I was like, oh, oh, we, we killing people. Okay, this is Punisher, season one, and two. This is, this is not rated R, but I guess if you replaced all the burn me's and flamings and with real curse words, this, this would be a rated R book. Um, and I really hope they keep the the weird cursing that's it's coming for the tv show sorry sidebar anyway um so i mean we just open up on destruction that's it's pretty much what it comes down to and then we see loose theron loose theron telemon he's wandering the palace and he's he's moving with the earth i mean it's his craziness is kind of keeping him in it so if if the if the earthquakes moving the earth around his body just kind of naturally goes with it and uh, he's looking for his wife. Um, doesn't notice that the palace jacked up. So in his mind's eye, or in his eye, he sees the normal everyday palace. He just doesn't see any people in it. And he's kind of thrown by that. And he's like, where, where is everybody? What's going on? And uh, then he's as he's walking, he catches his eye in a mirror. And uh, I guess he he recognizes himself, but he doesn't recognize that he's aged like he's he's worn down it's like a before and after shot of the president when he's like you know look at obama when he first came in office and after he left you know uh, and and so or even bush too i mean he took it pretty hard so i mean just that crippling 
what it does to your the stress of of having such a uh, giant job, an enormous you know uh, weight. And he starts laughing because he's just like, oh my god, yeah, 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 you know, yelling for his wife. You got to come see this. And uh, and as he's doing that, behind him, Elon Morin. What's his damn name? Tedronai? Elon Morin Tedronai? Uh, Ishmael? Because Elon, that name's not used much in the books. Uh, so Ishmael is, is what he's going to be called. I know what he's going by here, but we're just going to go with Ishmael. And uh, kind of, ooh, and, and turns around unsurprised. Hey, oh, shit. And so they start having a conversation. And... Uh, Ishmael can't believe how far the madness has already taken Luz Theron. Um, and, and the taint, it's already gripped him that hard. And Luz Theron remembers that Shaitan is not something you should be saying, but other than that, he's, he's just, yeah, swaddled in unawareness. Very good description. <laughs> I guess the book can hold its own. Um, and doesn't even recognize him. Luz Theron doesn't even recognize Ishmael for who he is. And uh, now once, he goes, once I was called Elon Morin Tedronai, but now, and he cuts him off, betrayer of hope. And he and he kind of remembers, but he just pushes, he represses it back down. He, he doesn't, those memories aren't coming. He doesn't want them. Um, he probably doesn't want to remember. And also the madness is probably pushing everything away. Um, and so loose, and so Ishmael kind of goes on a little, little rant um, about how everybody like hates him, but now everybody's gonna hate you. Uh, and he and he says he you know after today men will call you Kinslayer. And Luce Farron, I don't know if he doesn't hear him or if it's just whatever. But he's like, ah, my wife should be here to 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 offer you welcome. I don't know what's going on. I hope she doesn't think I'm hiding you. And um, then Elon goes over. Uh, some of Luz Theron's like uh, I guess achievements I guess you would call them once you stood first among the servants once you wore the uh, let me write let me let me do this right and I quote once you stood first among the servants once you wore the ring of Tamerlan and sat in the high seat once you summoned the nine rods of dominion now look at you a pitiful shattered wretch but it is not enough you humbled me in the hall of servants. You defeated me at the gates of Parandesan. But I am the greater now. I will not let you die without knowing that. When you die, your last thought will be the full knowledge of your defeat, of how complete and utter it is, if I let you die at all. I mean, a man's a gangster, you know? And I hope whoever plays him in the show can pull this off, because that's, that's going to be a rough one. Um, and still, loose there, nothing. Uh, still worried about his damn wife. I, I can't do nothing without her. You can't get this man something to drink. Nothing. You know, he's telling him, you know, Ilyana. Oh, such a weird name. Ilyana. Well, I ask you so many questions, you may end up telling her everything you know. And so, you know, he's trying to make small talk while Ishmael's like trying to rub it in that he won. And so it's got to be a little frustrating on Ishmael's part here that he's like, come on, man. Jesus. And, uh, you know, he, let's see, 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 see. Sorry, I'm reading through the 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 paragraph. I get a little lost because it's it's really good. I love the prologue. It's it's one of my favorite chapters in all the books. Uh, the last battle being my favorite chapter. Obviously, that that chapter is amazing. I cannot wait to get to that one. Actually, that one's going to be fun to break down. Yeah, can't wait. Anyway, um, you know, so Ishmael's like, you know what? I'm gonna heal you now. It sucks that uh, you, d you don't get ace and eye healing, but uh, what I do works. And I'm talking about loose air drops in pain. Like he got tased, is on fire. I mean, it's he's he's screaming from the, the farthest reaches of his gut. I mean, it's, 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 and it feels like forever. I mean, thousands of years is kind of what it says in the book. And so he's you know, laying there and he's hurting. And he looks up, and what does he see? His dead wife staring him right in the face. And uh, and so he runs over to her, drops onto her. He's, he's 
trying to figure out what's going on. And thinks, and obviously in his head, he's like, oh, Ishmael must have killed her. You know, that's that's what happened. And uh, Ishmael's like, what are you talking about, dude? You think we've been fighting just for 10 years? Been fighting a thousand years, a thousand times for infinity. Remember, remember everything uh, that you've done. Remember the, the, the attack on the boar, the feudal one that, that basically ruined the male half of the one power uh, or the, the, the true source. And, uh, you know, Ishmael finally sees it in his face and, and finally sees it and loose there and finally remembers. And he, and he finally realizes that, that he's killed everybody he loves. He's destroyed the earth, basically. It's all his fault. It was his plan. It was his everything. I mean, he led it. And, we'll, you know, we'll get to this in the next episode. But this wasn't the favored plan. You know what I'm saying? He he he, he kind of went on his own there and did that. And uh, it's, so basically it's all his fault. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he did seal the Dark One away uh, to a point, uh, but as we'll find out in the coming coming books, you know, it, it didn't work very well. And so he bounces out, moves there and just dips and travels to the a very barren place. He can, you know, uh, well, he travels to the Westlands, but it's nobody around. There's there's no no life. He can't sense any life around him. And overdraws on the one power and does it with such strength that it just just shoots a bar of light into the bowels of the earth and and lava flows forth heaving up miles high uh, creating dragon mount um, and obviously the book's a little more descriptive than I've been uh, but creates dragon mount splits the river um, what what's the river's name? Or splits into yeah, the river Aranon splits into boom. I had it right. So anyway, back to the story. Oh, well, there's no more of the story. Ishmael pops up, sees Dragon Mount, uh, talks a little shit. You can't escape so easily, Dragon. It is not done between us. It will not be done until the end of time. Uh, it bounces, and that's the end of the uh, end of the prologue. All right. Um, so let's go back through a little bit, make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, got the palace, surprised by the death, blah, 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 blah. and yeah. So next week we'll get into what happens post prologue pre chapter one. Uh, we'll do a little bit deeper uh, dive into Luz Theron, a little bit deeper dive into Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael probably a little bit deeper because that's quite a bit more info on him and he's kind of integral into what goes on between the prologue and chapter one so uh, we'll definitely be looking into him uh, we'll run down a timeline uh, it'll be a fairly shorter episode two um, chapter one and, and on are probably going to get longer um, as, as the words get more plentiful so other than that, please uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, uh, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment. I, I look forward to reading some. And uh, uh, just for the uh, final thing, who's your favorite character? Let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Later.